Attention gamers! Building crit items with the goal of doing damage is like playing solo queue with the goal of having fun. Sure it can happen but more often than not the enemy team has a Katarina inverting your anus and the game ends long before it will ever happen. And while lethality has always been a good alternative to the RNG filled piss fest of building crit items and praying the game lasts long enough for probability to make your right click score hot chicks most people don't realize just how strong Riot has made this stat. For starters in the first patch of the season they were like lethality ain't no fish so why would we make it scale? But this made the stat stronger than my flawless jokes by essentially giving it a 30% buff in the early to mid games. Add this to the fact that Uncle Rito also took armor runes out back and did dirty things to them so do a bit of math and we now have a 30% buff to lethality and 12 less base armor from runes in a game that is based around snowballing from early game advantages and it seems like a no-brainer. Not to mention these two items got fat buffs and rushing them is the cheapest fattest power spike in the game so it's like a super obvious who is more likely to have aids, the Virgin Mary or Riley Reed type of situation you know what I'm saying and today I'm going to show a few examples of why lethality is stronger than you think. My first thought was to be a lethal Lisa on counting Dracula here as I figured with the new map I could just tell this star guardian blondie boy that I had to slip out to rock a piss in river only to surprise him with an elaborate plan to yell for right in his face for first blood. Then a few minutes later I would be rocking CS on par with any all-female LCS squad when I would appropriately attend an iron elo orgy from a safe distance, operating the zoomed out death simulator to near perfection before ending this performance with a thin slim gym for the triple. This level of show my nipples on the internet income created a bit of a power gap between me and Ellen DeGeneres so every time my support grew her pubes around his pervy ankles I would honestly only have to count to 1 for him to piss off and apparently going 6 and 0 in the first 15 minutes forces them to flop over like a post nutted dick and thus game 1 ended before a real ADC would have even built 20% crit. Game 2 was supposed to be a slightly longer example but this is when we all had to witness a rather severe case of Tristana syndrome. A grueling disorder that I covered in depth here and you can learn more about by subbing to my channel. You see Tristana players often suffer from what can only be described as the I'm so sloppy so me do more hoppy Tourette like tics that come with the syndrome and while this drunken stepfather aggression can be effective, it can also be embarrassingly bad. Like when Brand greeds like a state certified dumbass and she is left with the decision to hop or not to hop, she will always choose hop so I will give her the bop. An early death for one of these inflicted idiots is just detrimental to their future decision-making abilities as they will run straight past the sack of gold in the form of Hogwarts babies without hesitation to hop right into making up for their mistakes. The only problem with this plan is literally everything as they now have no escape and are forced to eat the bedazzled butt plug you fire at them. The situation continues to get worse as their attempts to avenge themselves are starting to get embarrassing like on the day it was raining brains this bitch clearly had quite an umbrella. It gets to the point with this syndrome where it actually started to look like hard inting so for her sake, and mine, I didn't feel good about showing the events that led up to my team somehow losing this game, despite my damage wiener looking like the BBC of the bunch. The third game I figured I would show off the build on pepperoni nip siver and the start of the game my goal was to keep them more pushed in than a turd during anal which was quite effective as they got impatient and tried to all in this bitch. But I had some lethality to my name and this pig riding chick who I was told to call my support was quite a cold bitch so the first scrabble ended in us telling them to suck my balls. This leaves just that bony bitch who kidnapped Obama's wife that one time left more alone than she was in his lantern so I tell Warthog Harrietta to put her ice whipping ass on the line so that I can deep dish deliver a dicking to this skeleton. The other team gets a free dragon because my jungler is draining jizz out of his ass up by his red and a small rager in the river breaks out but we are more outnumbered than a German at a synagogue and our only hope of winning this was fired off into bumfuck Egypt so my tank bailed and I too made like a fart and blew that shithole. That said we stayed in the lead as I looked at my off meta stupid as all shit support and said you are at your best when you are getting caught with a hook in your mouth like a brain dead carp and she said I a captain which resulted in yet another one for one trade. Samira was under the impression that since she is a dueler and I'm just a pepperoni poker she could win an all and which may have been true if I wasn't packing my pocket pick who could turn a bitch into a freeze pop at a moment's notice. So I got close to my fat 2 item power spike which meant the next team fight was going to be more one sided than an object with just one side and you know how the saying goes. Buy a man a fish, 
He eats for a day, shit on him repetitively for the first 15 minutes of a league game and he cries and gives up like a bitch which originally made me mad that I wasn't getting a full game but then I realized it's just proving my point that games are so short that it's lethality or bust meta but I still queued up for a fourth to show it off on Miss Bubble Tits. This started with your typical level 3 fuck fest where this floating fairy was up in my grill but all I care about is tapping Legolas's wife and then totally not dying to the enchanter support right after. I get a dirk and then leave it to a trackpad Nunu to sweeten the honey pot no pun intended like an absolute boosted animal. We know that Janna had to slip out for a minute to take a shit so I looked at my support and asked if he was down to kick some ash to which he obliged so we yanked around that archer and I popped a few pocket sized cannonballs up her butt for the kill. Now for those of you trying to get fat LP on MF this is the way to abuse her kit. First you slow a hoe to get them nervous. One auto attack goes straight into them to abuse your passive and this will get them back pedaling, then you blow some dead minion guts onto her and immediately ult for a pretty combo before she even knows what hit her. This gives me my first item spike and so fuck laning you already know what this means. But now since the power spike is so disgusting you can just run at people with more chunks than a Ben and Jerry's ice cream and even when Janna doesn't want to get her teeth kicked in you can just settle for the consolation prize of a useless ADC trying to build crit which means her experience in this particular game can be boiled down to sucking off a statue and praying to baby Jesus himself she doesn't get dubbin and dicked again. And with just two items you quickly become the gatekeeper for the enemy team trying to do anything. And just because their ADC isn't attending team functions where the rest of them are getting brutally murdered, doesn't mean she has to miss out on the experience. We do end up giving Janna a fat dicking before she saves us from an ash alt then Nunu tries to trigger a queef quake only to fail miserably. I typically buy an edge of night because the bitch bubble will prevent this tornado distributor from cock blocking my alts long enough to schedule her funeral and leave this useless ash hole running for her life until she gets dunked. Proper positioning as an ADC is apparently optional at this point as you are now the president whom everyone is protecting and every Tom Dick in Yorick who wants to try and tattoo your perky underboob will learn a fat lesson. Katarinas are typically the queens of burst but in this case she's met her match of bullshit disgusting amounts of condensed damage. Eventually the team will regroup when my cooldowns are unavailable thinking they can make their move only to be taken to tentacle hentai land which absolutely is not for everyone so all park goers end up leaving unsatisfied. So in 4 games none of which going longer than 23 minutes or around when a hardstuck ADC would get to about 40-60% to crit and still lose the gamble on getting to full build I showed the raw power of building lethality items instead in the current state of the game. Thanks for watching and brush your teeth tonight. Rav out.